NASA received an SOS call from Andromeda Galaxy. The message has now been decoded and translated so that we can understand what it meant. NASA experts claim to have intercepted an intergalactic distress call from an alien civilization that had already peaked and was actually dying when saber-toothed tigers were still roaming our Earth. The 80,000-year-old SOS was received and digitally recorded late January of 1998. But only in recent weeks have radio astronomers and language experts found the key to the complex mathematics-based language that enabled them to translate the frantic plea for help. The world press has been suspiciously silent about the startling message though lengthy scientific reports are scheduled for publication in two professional journals, the Radio Astronomy and the Universe Journals. According to a highly placed NASA source in Houston, Texas, noted Russian space scientist Dr. Viktor Kulakov is leading a United Nations research team from a state-operated observatory 50 miles northwest of Moscow. Russia. Dr. Kulikov told Universe magazine that the signal emanated from a point beyond the galaxy nearest to our own, the Andromeda Galaxy, and was sent by beings that had apparently achieved a civilization no more advanced than our own here on Earth at the present time as we are now. Dr. Kulikov explained the simple fact that we received and decoded the message proved beyond any doubt that their knowledge and technology were, at the very best, within our reach. And while there are years of study ahead of us, all I can say with certainty that the death of their civilization was not the result of some cosmic catastrophe. It was the result of the civilization turning on itself, possibly with devastating nuclear weaponry. Dr. Kulikov flatly refused to provide either of the magazines with a transcript of the message sent by this dying people, these dying beings, asking for help, but he did say it began with a plea, help us. And he also went on to give data pinpointing the exact position of the doomed planet in the Andromeda galaxy. He said there was quite lucid account of apocalyptic devastation hellish explosions, widespread death and terminal disease, illnesses, a shower of meteors perhaps. But what strikes me, he said, is this feeling, an underlying acceptance of guilt. It's as if the senders of the message are acknowledging blame for what happened to their planet. Whatever it was, they apparently had no means to evacuate the remaining population from their planet Interplanetary space travel was available to them, but only on a very limited level. The message makes it very clear that they were trapped in their own, own world, said Dr. Kulikov. I'll leave a link below for you for this, published April 23rd, 2016.